Pre-orders for Halo Infinite are live right now, and also a new weapon has been confirmed for the game, as well as a long time enemy coming back in Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So the first thing we got to talk about guys is obviously that we've had recently the Series X pre-orders have recently gone out and it's actually been kind of tough to find which is you know kind of expected especially with like the limited supply i'm sure with the supply chains with the current uh issues going on in the world which i can't say on youtube without being demonetized sadly and then that very same day on best buy's website halo infinite and a special edition of halo infinite went available for pre-ordering Now this also might make you think okay well does it give you a date does it give you more details about the game what does it say well we're gonna show you right now in this video so let's get right into it Currently right now, you can actually go to Best Buy and pre-order Halo Infinite right now if you wanted to. Uh, obviously, it doesn't state exactly what date it releases, but it's pretty cool that the show that pre-orders have now come in. This went live the same day as pre-orders for the Xbox Series X and S went live as well. Uh, you can see right here that it comes with obviously the standard edition of the game. You have an awesome Master Chief statue, and I swear to God, like every time I see the statue, I'm like, yeah, this is definitely the best looking Master Chief I've ever seen. And it also comes with an awesome steelbook as well now you can actually can purchase all these items separately just the game for 60 uh, just the statue which also is dark horse which you know is good quality right there by itself looks at, looks at the price recently just reduced to 45 dollars but originally it was 60 and now you have a steel book also for 10 dollars. you can buy each item separately or if you want to do it for a whole bundle you can actually get it for 104 dollars and 98 cents and trust me, I did read the descriptions, guys, and it says to be announced. Basically, it's all it says right there. And that's all the information you get for Halo Infinite. The statue kind of gives you a little bit more information. It lets you know that it is uh, 10.5 inches tall, which is just shy of one foot, saying that he's holding the M40 assault rifle, sitting on top of a statue plate of the Zeta Halo. And, like, guys, this Master Chief, seriously, like, this is like the best looking Master Chief I think we've ever had in a Halo game. This looks freaking awesome. If it, you know, if I could pick this up for even cheaper, I probably would pick this up. If not, I probably just pick it up anyways because it just looks so cool, and I want it on my bookshelf to go along with my Reach and Halo Three guys as well. And it says right here you can get your Master Chief as early as November 10th. And for the Steel Book here, I think this is more just kind of placeholder stuff, obviously, because I don't think we just get like a black box and that's it. I'm pretty sure we get something uh, a little bit more special to it as well. No uh, release date announced for this one yet. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit here, it also has you know just announced. Uh, more information coming soon for the description and features. And also when it comes to uh, the specifications of the whole thing, the only information you can get right here is that it actually comes with uh, some discs, like some Blu-ray, CD, or and DVDs as well. Uh, obviously, this could be just filler right here, but I'm assuming it probably comes with like a Blu-ray and maybe some kind of pamphlet thing mixed in with there as well. Again, it's all kind of speculative at the moment, but right now, that's all we have for uh, pre-orders, at least for right now. This is the first like official pre-order I've seen for Halo Infinite, besides just like local game stores letting you give them 20 bucks. Like, I mean, I've seen pre-orders go live like, after, soon after the announcement trailer and like people were showing their receipts like I pre-ordered Halo Infinite at my game store and everyone's like how the game hasn't even we don't even know the release date at that time yet so I would not think this means that the uh you know the game's gonna release anytime soon my expectation really is actually gonna be like fall 2021 is when we'll see Halo Infinite but of course then it's all up to speculation and see what 343 can pull off within the time frame that they have to release this game now moving on to some other Halo Infinite news we have a new weapon and a confirmed character coming into the game as well with the stalker rifle and the Jackal Snipers. Now, if any of you have played Halo 2 campaign, especially on Legendary, you all very much aware of the Jackal Snipers and the nightmares they've caused during Legendary playthroughs. So having a formidable opponent like a Jackal Sniper in Halo Infinite is going to be, well, giving those classic feels back. So here's a look at the Jackal Sniper that has now been confirmed for Halo Infinite. We'll have Jackal Snipers. So Halo 2 is calling 
and they want to know your name pretty much. They want to know your location. Uh, as you can see here, we have the Jackals, and they have a pretty interesting little headpiece to them. It kind of reminds me of like a blend between Halo 3 and Halo Reach. I'll showcase that later in a moment. Uh, we have a new weapon here, basically confirmed in Halo Infinite. as the Stalker Rifle. Uh, that's about all we know of it right now. I've searched online. That's all we have of this rifle right now. Now, looking at it, it does look actually rather similar to the Pulse Carbine. And the next image here, if you want to look at it, as you can see, it's a very similar kind of uh, weapon design to it. So uh, maybe it's maybe a little more of a long range version of the Pulse Carbine in some way or another. Not totally sure on that one, uh, but you can tell that there definitely are some similarities between the two. And seeing how the Pulse Carbine here is definitely was made for much more mid close range kind of engagements with a burst to it as well. I'm assuming that since this is a Jackal Sniper, that this is not necessarily a sniper rifle, but more maybe like a long range kind of rifle, kind of like a needle rifle like we had back in Halo Reach. Maybe some form of a replacement for the Carbine as well. Not totally sure on that. I'm assuming this is probably going to be more of a longer range, maybe a single fire kind of weapon. Again, We'll just have to wait and see. I'm assuming that with the word stalker being in the right name for the rifle, makes me think it's much more stealthy and which would probably also indicate like, again, with the Jackal Sniper, much more longer range engagements uh, intended for the stalker rifle. Also, people have been kind of talking about how the design of this Jackal looks kind of weird. And I'm not gonna lie, it does look kind of weird the way this Jackal is kind of posed within this box, the way his head's kind of like looking up and cocked to the side for some reason. I don't really get it. Um, but if you look right here, here is a Halo 3 Jackal holding a carbine as you can tell it kind of has that kind of dotted eye look to it that the Jackal Sniper in Halo Infinite has kind of has like a scoped headset kind of deal that's going on right there with a mid-range rifle for the carbine as well and there's a screenshot of that jack same kind of jackal sniper but this time holding a covenant sniper rifle as well the beam rifle again kind of sporting the glowy light kind of like optics kind of headset thing that uh the jackals are known for which really do help kind of spot out those sniper rifles so not only that but it actually does add a cool kind of spooky element to it where like if you see just like glowing eyes over the hill it's a little terrifying and uh knowing the reputation of jackal snipers you could probably assume they're worth uh worth taking note of it also seems like there's a bit of a mix between the halo reach version of this as well as you can see that this kind of has like a goggles kind of look to it rather than the optic version that we have here in halo 3 as you can kind of see for the uh, halo infinite version it kind of seems to blend those two together in some kind of way where it seems like it's definitely like some kind of optical kind of headset that the jackal is wearing while also being so far goggles something like that Again, this definitely would it definitely indicates some form of long range engagements you'd see from a jackal, which we typically do. Are you guys gonna be jumping and getting that statue for Master Chief? I honestly think I might just do it because that thing looks freaking awesome. And also, what are your thoughts on that jackal sniper? Does it look kind of goofy? I'm not quite sure if it's just the toy itself or if it's actually how they look in the game. From what we saw from the gameplay trailer, they looked rather fine to me. I didn't see any glaring issues with it, but maybe at close range, it might kind of show a little bit more. But let me know in the comment section down below, guys. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.